Ron's Hotel Motel program was once a short-term plan for struggling Vermonters during cold weather months and during the pandemic, even now costing state taxpayers more than $50 million a year. Today, a joint hearing at the State House in Montpelier to try to come up with a way to rein in the cost and expand new housing as a whole. NBC5 Stephen Biddix was there and joins us now in studio with some of the key takeaways. Yes, Stu and Alice, the lawmakers in the state agree the housing shortage and hotel motel program are synonymous. They say it all comes down to there not being enough housing across the state. Now, this sentiment is nothing new, but recently minted housing commissioner Alex Farrell and members of the Scott administration are ready to take drastic measures they say are never seen before, telling legislators it may be uncomfortable, but the same old cannot continue. I'll get a little uncomfortable and see what we can do to really jumpstart this housing market. Getting uncomfortable. That was the key phrase at a joint committee hearing on how to fix housing in Vermont. We could invest a billion dollars and what would that yield? A little over 2,000 units? So there's something more substantial and more systemic that we need to do to address this. The state says investments do help, but they've hit a breaking point. The Vermont that we know and love is, is truly at risk. I think we can all agree we are not in danger of overbuilding housing. And need drastic policy changes like Act 250 reform and allowing for denser development. When we look at, say, the 10 by 5 by 5 rule, that actually has uh, the effect, well, the opposite effect of, I think, what we'd want. It creates sprawl. It causes nine unit housing, nine unit housing, nine unit housing. Shortening review timelines. I think we need to consider the state establishing mandated timelines for development review boards to review and uh, approve, uh, approve or deny, but the timeline need to be shorter and predictable. And getting developers to foot more of the bill. Developers help with the infrastructure cost up front for putting in a row. Exactly. Store, things like this, this would be very helpful. Decades ago, municipalities used to have the capacity to uh, bear that burden and front that cost for the, for the developer because they knew they'd get the benefit of the grand list growing in the long run. Well, our municipalities don't have that capacity now financially do agree that some kind of serious change is necessary and will look at over options as the session approaches because they say in addition to the rising homeless population, you can also correlate the workforce shortage with the lack of affordable housing. And at the end of the day, none of this gets any better without there being more permanent unions. Live in the studio, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.